Hey guys, it's Donald Wombat here. Welcome to my first ever Grand Theft Auto 4 video. I'm changing it up a little on my channel as I'm looking to expand into more games and grow my audience. I must first shoot out a huge thanks to Peter Taylor. As I don't play on PC and I don't have a capture card, without him recording this gameplay for me, I wouldn't be able to do this video at all. So a huge thanks to you, Peter. His channel link will be in the description. He's just starting out on YouTube too and has been doing some great GTA 4 stunt videos. So if you're into GTA 4 stuff, you should check out his channel. Now, onto this video. As it says in the title, I did finally finish GTA 4. I haven't completed the game to 100%, but I've passed the story. It really took me a lot longer than I first thought, and the story just went on and on. Not that that was a bad thing at all, as I really enjoyed the game. I bought this game about a year ago because I was off to uni and thought, I might have a bit of spare time on my hands. This actually turned out to be the case, but it was really at that time that I started to get in Call of Duty as well. Where I live at home, we're on a farm, and we've never really had a good internet connection, so online gaming was something that I'd never really gotten into. I still had a few Call of Duty games, but I only really played them for their single player com components. The games that I enjoyed more were ones that had a longer story mode, such as Assassin's Creed games, Driver, Gran Turismo 5, and a few games like that. Then when I went to uni and there was actually a good internet connection, I really got into COD, which was something that I hadn't really experienced before. This meant that I just put most of my other games to the back of the pile. I'd gotten about 10 hours into GTA 4 at that stage, and then I didn't really play it for about 6 months. Once I finished uni, I got back into GTA 4 a lot, and I've been playing it a lot lately, and today I finally took out Pellegrino and finished the game. It's been a heap of fun and I've really enjoyed this game. It starts off slowly. You come into America and only know one person, which is your cousin Roman. The missions start off easy, and as you get to know more and more people and get deeper in, they become a lot harder and a lot more fun. By the end of the game, most of the missions include you coming up against a heap of different enemies, evading a heap of cops, and sometimes even both. I also like the feature in the game where it allows you to decide between two different situations. Choose between which person you kill or which path to take, and each path has a different consequence. Towards the end of the game, the main character Nico's girlfriend is killed after he decides to take out his nemesis rather than work with him. Decisions like this keep you on your toes the whole way keep you on your toes the whole way through the storyline. With GTA coming out in the GTA 5 coming out in the coming months, if any of you guys are considering playing either of these games, I would highly recommend it. For GTA 4, the only way I had really played Grand Theft Auto before was to type in the cheats and go on a rampage and kill as many people and get a heap of stars and have fun that way. And while that is a lot of fun, playing through the storyline and choosing different paths to takes different paths to take has been a heap of fun as well. Once again I must say a huge thanks to Peter Taylor for providing me with the footage for this video. His channel will be in the description below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe and all that fun stuff. I've been Wombat, catch you later.